Hey, welcome back into today's video. Happy 4th of July. I'm really glad that you're here today and you can celebrate with me. Um, today, on this episode of The Rep Reports, we're going to be talking about Danielle Cohn getting possibly Mikey Chua in trouble. Belle Delphine is selling bathwater and Trisha Paytas has mentioned the biggest expose of her professional career. All that and more as The Rep Reports. Danielle Cohn is a content creator with over 1.3 million subscribers. We did a video on her uh, earlier this year where we exposed her true age. She goes on to tell everybody that she's 15 years old. It's even in her bio, which is kind of odd, but she's not 15 years old. She placed in 2012 and 2013 for Florida Miss Princess, so she would have actually had to been uh, five and then six unless they falsified the age. The only way that this would work is if her birthday wasn't March, but let's say August, that would give her the ability to still place in 2012 and 2013 for the age groups, but make no mistake, that still means that she's 12 years old today. So now that we got that figured out, let's talk about the- I'll put that video in the description below. The controversy began when Daniel Cohn's boyfriend, who is 17 year old Mike Etua's mother, posted on his social media saying, this is Mikey's mom, Katie. After some sensitive information was brought to my attention about Danielle, we no longer support the Danielle and Mikey's relationship because Mikey is still a minor. We have taken away his social media. He will be able to get it back after we, we've worked through some legal stuff. Thank you. Now, I can only imagine that what they have discovered is that Danielle is in fact not 15 years old. I love my son very much. All I want is for him to be safe with himself and his decision. As parents, we need to protect him from any harm that might come his way. He wants to be emancipated and I understand that, but his emancipation can give him prison time. Danny is not 15. For those of you guys that don't know what emancipation is, emancipation of minors is a legal mechanism in which minor is freed from control by their parents and or guardians. Danielle had this to say. They didn't find anything. They are mad because they kicked out their son and he won't come back home. And then she goes on to allude that there's something secretive that she has found out that they didn't want her to know and says, they don't support us because I know the truth about her and what she does to him. Slant face. My thoughts on this are, we already know that she's not 15 years old. I think pretty much everybody knows that she's not 15 years old. And that puts, since Mikey is 17 years old, unless his age is falsified, it puts him in a lot of danger. If he does get emancipated, it puts him in even more danger. Now I cannot say for sure that there's no abuse going on by the parents, but those are serious allegations. Danielle come out on an Instagram story saying, Seeing Mikey come to my house at night crying because his parents forced him to do things. And I'm done with it. I'm not gonna have my boyfriend go through that. I don't like seeing my boyfriend go through it. And it's not okay. Not and, and Mikey's not going to prison because none of that is true what they're saying, by the way. But, Mikey was fed up with it. If you're a kid, you're 17, like, come on, why would you stay in that household? I know if my mom was doing those things to me, I would say goodbye, I am going to live with my dad. Now we don't know what the things are that he's being made to do. It could be heinous, or it could be taking out the trash. Uh, she goes on to allude that Mikey's parents are using him for money, saying, No wonder the kid wants to get emancipated. And when you're gonna threaten your kid and say I'm gonna punch the F out of you, I would leave too. I would leave too. So, don't trust anything these parents say because they're violent, they are disgusting, they don't even deserve to have kids. They really don't. They treat their kids like they are literally a walking bank and, a, and their investments. Katie literally said, they're an investment. We invested in them, so they're going to make our money back. Tea time, it's not tea, but I'm not going to have them post stuff about me when they should be going to jail for the things that they do. It's difficult to understand the situation on one hand. Um, if there are, If there is some sort of abuse going on, um, that needs to be investigated. But on the other hand, uh, 
Danielle is definitely not 15 years old, and that is uh, very serious in itself uh, for a lot of reasons. But I'm also interested in what you guys think, so let me know in the comment section below. Also, in the news, <laughs> Belle Delphine is now selling her dirty bath water. That's right, you heard it here. Belle Delphine is selling her bath water. Mary Bell Kirshner, better known by her online persona, Belle Delphine, is now selling her bath water to thirsty fans. This isn't the first time that kawaii cosplayer and social media influencer has taken to the internet to troll her millions of fans. Belle has previously said that she'd set up her own pern hub in an epic prank to her followers. Belle, who currently has more than 3 million followers on Instagram, is now vlogging her bath water to the thirstiest of her fans. The small bottles of dirty water are currently for sale on Bell's store, and the people are genuinely parting with their hard-earned cash to own a bit of that dirty bath water. It's marketed as Gamer Girl Bath Water, love from Belle Delphine. Now, it's kind of gross, it's kind of funny. Uh, I feel like there's a thin line here between uh, what's a troll and what's actually real. Reality is being distorted between uh, dirty bath water from Belle Delphine and real life. I just, I don't understand. Also, in the news, <laughs> the one, the only Trisha Paytas has stated on Twitter that get ready for the biggest exposed video of my freaking life. Topic Keemstar needs to be exposed. Shady arse. And I wanted to get to the bottom of this. It seems like a lot of people are going at Keemstar in light of recent events. Um, I did find where she said, why are you always on my, like, for real? You never say anything nice or just always trying to gas me up. F off. In reply to Trisha Paytas saying, I auditioned for Ursula in live action remake of The Little Mermaid. Didn't get it. He said, they probably didn't want you to quit the show halfway through and bash all the cast members in a tear-filled vlog on the kitchen floor. I can only imagine that this fueled the rage for this exposed video. And I wanna know, here's the question to you guys. What do you think, if anything, Trisha has to expose about Keemstar? It could be something, or it could be nothing. I asked on Twitter, I said, Trisha Paytas said she is about to release the biggest exposed video of her entire life, and it's on Keemstar. What do you guys think she'll expose? A uh, user said, would be nice if she owned up to her own stuff and apologized, talking mostly about the Nikado avocado stuff. Another user saying, I dread to think at the moment as the world has gone to a poop emoji. I thought she'd left YouTube and social media anyways. Another user saying, nothing as much as I love Trisha in the past, I feel she's gone way downhill. The consensus is that she's got nothing to expose. And even if she does expose, she's been exposed tenfold over and anything that she throws at him, uh, it's, it's the whole glass house persona. You can't just expose somebody when you've been exposed yourself and you've done so much bad and I don't know but I'm interested in what you guys think so let me know because as interesting as this is always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it I want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative under interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for those likes as always brothers and sisters I will see you in the next video I ran out of breath that's what it is uh I just like to say again ha happy 4th of July and any other holidays that there it, there could be in other countries today. I think Canada Day was the other day. Happy that. And uh, I hope that everybody's having a beautiful day. It's really good to be here with you. And uh, it, do you have your Rep Squad membership shirts? They're right here. I'll put the link in the description. They are uh, the best protection for the Illuminati as we're out there patrolling the internet. Because you don't know, as you're exploring the internet, what's lurking around every corner. It's another way to show if you're repping, if you're not repping, you're gregging. And how you do that, I gotta just subscribe, notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there. And the rest of the Red Swall community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Happy 4th of July. Now I gotta work on another video.
that dirty bathwater. <laughs>